Hello, everyone. Welcome to the eCyber Mission Classroom. My name is Matt Hartman, and I'll be your instructor for this lesson. Today, we'll be looking at benefits to the community. To begin, I'd like you to write down the answers to three questions. One, what makes a scientific investigation or invention valuable? Two, when scientists solve a problem, who benefits? And three, what is the difference between a local problem and a global problem? Pause the video while you answer these questions. Now that you're thinking about the values and benefits of scientific investigations and the differences between global and local problems, I'd like you to write down at least two examples of scientific research that has benefited either humans or other organisms. Pause the video until you come up with them. Now I'd like you to take a look at student sheet 8-1. You are going to determine if these problems listed are local, global, or both. You'll put the letter that's in front of the problem in the Venn diagram on the second page. Go ahead and do that now. Pause the video while you do so. How did you do? Were you able to place them all? You may have found it difficult to decide between global or local and put many of them in both. Many local problems can have an effect globally if you look at them over the long term. Now what you need to do is look up these problems and determine who would benefit from solving that problem and why. You'll fill in the second column with this information. And once you're done with that, you can rank these problems from 1 to 10 with 10 being the least important and 1 being the most. This can be for whatever reason you think is appropriate. Maybe it's something you feel passionate about, or maybe it's a problem that directly affects you. This is your own personal ranking and there are no wrong answers. Pause the video while you complete the second and third columns and the final question on the second page. Well done. As an engineer working for the military, you may think that the technologies we research are only used on the battlefield, but that is far from the truth. Technologies like biodegradable plastics reduce the need for landfill space and provide a solution to the local and global problem of solid waste disposal. Now back to your eCyber Mission teacher. You've completed this lesson. And if you haven't already done the first seven lessons, go back and have a look. Remember, if you have any questions or problems, talk to your team advisor. And if there are still questions, you can contact CyberGuides on the forums at eCyberMission.com or call Mission Control between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Monday through Friday at 1-866-GO-CYBER. See you soon.